Hello, Coffee Town friends. How y'all doing? We are fixing supper tonight. It's good, good supper. Delicious supper. And I'm drinking y'all's coffee. Mmm. I've done the nice to work for y'all guy here. I, I pounded this chicken out so it's all about the seal of the breast. They're kind of bubbled up and all that. And uh, what's on here right now is just chicken and some olive oil and here's the olive oil and uh, I've just sprayed a little on this griddle and put the chicken on it and sprinkled the top of it with some McCormick's um, lemon pepper. Now I'm going to come in with y'all's lime pepper because it's chicken and what better goes with lime and lemon than a chicken. Yum. I'm just doing one side. That's one way to keep from getting too much on them. And I'm going to put a dash dash of y'all's ranch. Because I like to use this stuff on a lot of stuff. Remember, ranch is a seasoning and not a dressing. We're having this, some green beans, and some delicious grub down the garden red potatoes in the stack cooker. We're putting it in this one part. Gonna put just a drop or two of water in it. Mama's gonna put, spritz some of this olive oil over it and put some salt on them. Kinda like we do our baked potatoes, but these are gonna just be roasted. They're just little reds, ain't they, Mama? Yeah. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna do one. come over here and you can do it right here. So Mama's just gonna show these right here. She's moved over here. All right, so let's get her olive oil over here, and she's got her sea salt over there. Uh, if that's what you want. Look what we got today from y'all. We've got the new seasonings. This is the Texas Street Taco, and I had to t take a little sample, and it's delicious. And that Bama Burger, I've already got my mind turning on how many things I could use that Bama Burger on. In fact, I think I'll put a little sprinkle on this chicken, because I was thinking that would be good on any time. So I'm just going to put a nice dash of Bama Burger on these Bama Chicken. Because it's got a good profile to it. Yummy. Now I'm going to put a little black pepper on each one of these. Just shake, shake it black pepper. Grinding out some fresh here. And I'll put a little bit of this so I'm right here, you can use this salt if you want to. <laughs> they need a little salt. Give me a quarter on that. Yeah, I right. Mama says quarter them. These are just been washed. These have just been washed and scrubbed good. Got all the these come out of our yard, out of our garden. We know what they've had on them. We know they've not had any pesticides or any sprays or any of that. We try to go as organic as we can when we're doing our garden. Not to say we won't sprinkle a little seven dust if it has to be on a bean, but sometimes you can get by without it or you can use flour, especially on your cabbages. On your cabbages and stuff, you're gonna eat those leaves on beans, you're not going to eat those leaves, but you will eat the product. But well, we need to cut that up with potatoes. Yeah, we will, Mama. Yeah, it'll make it. <laughs> it'll be lunch tomorrow. Um, that way you've got, you know what your garden is, so that's what you're looking for. Now, two of these potatoes. We're just going to cover them in olive oil. This is just extra virgin olive oil in the sprayer. Okay. And mama's going to put a little butter. And I'm going to do a shake shake of these pink Himalayan sea salt. Shake, shake, shake. Twist, twist, twist. There you go, mama. I'll put a little bit of this on there. Just for pretty. Little parsley. Yum. Those look good enough to eat right now. I know they're wrong. 
Mom puts a better on them. I like all the potatoes. I do too. I don't like them like you do. I'm going to turn my chicken down just a notch on both sides. Because I don't want, when I flip them, so the, I'm just seasoning on that one side. Okay. Let's look underneath here. First thing. Okay, I need to leave. I okay, there you go, man. First thing, let's see if they're ready to come up. See how I'm having to tug that one? It ain't quite ready. That one can stay a minute longer. Let's see what this one says. Can y'all see? This griddle is sitting on the hot plate and it is, um, it's on, but it's still holding on there. So we're gonna leave it alone. It'll tell you when you say, I'm ready to come up from here, it'll come up from there. Put a little more EVOO underneath there. It'll go right down those rivets and it'll provide a little bit of EVOO. And turn it down just a notch. Because I want it to cook done, but I want it to be um, low and slow, but I want it to be brown. That little piece is done, look at him. That was just a little piece that was left there and I didn't want to throw him away, so I went ahead and used him. That one's getting perfectly golden brown on bottom. chicken go. I thought y'all were looking over there. Hello, your potatoes look wonderful. Well, thank you. Had tomato sandwich and mac and shells. That sounds good too. Hot in Florida. Where do you get a meal hook like that? Surely this um, meat hook came from uh, Amazon. It's a flipper. It does a wonderful job. I thought y'all were looking up here while I got it, but goodness. I need a camera person. Let's take a peek underneath and I'll show you. See? It needs another few minutes on there. I'm going to take them and put them right up there. It's a little hotter because the burners are here and here. Let's peek under here. Now he's getting more and more like he should be. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn him over. Let him cook a few more minutes on this side. And then I'll turn him back. Let's check this one. It's been over there in the hot area. Let's turn it over too. When that one gets some grill marks on him, we'll know he's ready. He was in the middle of the burners. So he probably didn't see a lot of hot action. Both burners are on. They're cooking great. Let's see what y'all are up to. Did he use this knife? Potatoes? Huh? On the potatoes? I didn't want to see those two washing. <laughs> no, it has to be washed. Uh, I wish I had an overhead camera. So now we wait. We patiently wait for the goodie. I might put a little dash dash of table salt on the backs of these. Because they had nothing. And I put a little dash dash of black pepper pepper salt. That's just for a little element of flavor flavor. Let's check our third piece over here. Just hanging out. See what he looks like. He's getting there, but he ain't there yet. I like the hook. At first I thought, I don't know if I'll be able to use that thing. But I like it very well for steak. I like it for chicken. Um, 
It just works real well. Mom's used it. You can yeah. use it for sausage. You can use it for hot dogs. I have my sausage on the pieces if I put it in. Whoop. You can use it for hot dogs. I smell that lemon and lime pepper on it. Isn't it good? Isn't it good? We're going to tip this. Now, on the back side here, I am going to put a little dash dash of this thyme. And, Mama, you want to put a little butter on here? Put your little pad of butter on there. Kind of like you do steaks. Makes it delicious. Now this little bird over here, he's probably caught up by now. We're gonna go ahead and flip him. Give him his opportunity to catch up. Y'all can do anything you want to your chicken. You can use one seasoning. Some of y'all say I use too much seasoning. I probably do for you, just not for me. Mama don't complain about my seasons once she gets it on the plate, because it's not hot. Mama likes seasoning like this. She just don't like hot. Like I wouldn't put hot uh, pepper on this or chili pepper or anything like that because I know she's not gonna eat that. And you know, really and truly, really, Mama likes the flavor of some hot stuff. It just bothers her stomach, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna that sometimes. Because she likes salsa, she likes Mexican flavors. Um, oh, can you smell that thyme? Smell something coming up strong. Ain't it delicious? I'm closer to it than you are. Ain't it delicious? Mm -hmm. That little bit of butter, little bit of butter, make it better. You know what makes it even better is sitting here drinking coffee while it's cooking right there on the griddle. While it's cooking. So I have plans for this third bird. Well, actually I have plans. We'll probably end up eating one of those and we'll have two, but I have plans for it. And hopefully tomorrow night I'm gonna show you how to upscale a leftover grilled chicken. And mama will have to help. Mm -hmm. Mama will have to help. I've got this turned down to medium high. You can see that I don't want to mess my butter up. I'm going to pull my butter all the way over there. You want to coat your whole piece of chicken with that butter before you flip it again. Because when you flip it, then that other side will get some butter too. What y'all having tonight? Where y'all from? Is it been raining at your house? It's been raining here. But I ain't complaining, I'm thankful. Because yesterday some of the flowers out front were asking for rain and they got rain last night and they got rain today. So they should be rained out today. Let's check our bird again. In case you're wondering what I'm using here, this is just a cast iron griddle. It's ridged on one side, flat on the other. You can flip it, you can put it on the burners of your stove, or you can put it on the burners of a hot plate like this and you have an instant griddle. You can also buy one of these and use it very, very similarly, like a blackstone outside. I use it outside as well. Um, it's a flat cast iron surface to grill on. I don't have a blackstone, so I'm not saying it works as good as or any of that stuff, because I really don't know. I'm just saying it can be done because I've used it out there. That on the middle one? Yeah, the middle. He's, that one over there started out in the middle. Mama's talking about the, the coil is right here and right here. So we want to make sure they're both overheat. Now this one here, I can tell he ain't done on that thick spot right there, but I can put the thinner spot toward the middle and leave the thick spot toward the heat and he'll get cooked. Same with this one.
Now, folks, you don't want to take any shortcuts when you're cutting chicken. Give it its time. Uh, depending on your heat, I can't give you a minute because it depends on the heat. You want to keep the heat, you want to keep it hot. And like this piece right here, you can see that pink, you don't want no pink chicken. You can stand them up on their end, sear them, cook them, make sure they're getting all they need. Sometimes it's just those ends that get a little cool. They want one. I can stand them up. You don't take that Well, yeah, that's what they. I don't have to. I could lean it like that right there. My hook would hold it. No, fancy. Fancy, Mama. You got to know how to. Fancy. Uh oh. You got to know how to use that hook to your advantage. Fancy. You work your hand. You work your hand. Let's see where we are. You want to go to the thickest part of the chicken or the meat, whatever you're doing, and go to the center. We're not there. We're at 152. Barely climbing to 153. This one down here. He's a little warmer. Oh, he's good. He's up to 75. 175. That one's up to one two. This is the toughest part right there. Not tough, but thick. It's taking him a minute. He's up to one two eighty five ninety. He's up there. I did adjust the heat a little bit more to get this one up here, so it is cooking good now. We'll keep some heat going on it, and that'll get done. It's not getting dark or nothing. It's staying just right. Golden, delicious brown. Y'all like grilled chicken? We like fried, grilled, baked, any old way you have it. We'll try it. Hi from Bean Station, Tennessee. Well, Patsy, that's not too far from here. Hello, everyone. Hey, Liz. Uh, Dottie in Harrisburg. Uh, looks delicious. Well, thank you, Miss Dottie. Hey, Kathy. He's too tall and Mama is short. Somebody must be saying, how come John's not standing up? <laughs> People worry so much about my position. Where did you get standing? that concept? That's my... I can't believe people worry about that kind of foolishness, boys. <laughs> I get tickled some of the comments. John, how come you're doing this? John, how... it's all about the cooking and the socialization. It's not about whether I'm sitting or standing or mama's sitting or standing. or It's funny to me. Uh, I can stand. I can walk. The Lord's blessed me real good. Mama is short. I'm tall. And I'm trying to get this food in here. And y'all see me struggling with this camera angle the way it is. So I can sit right here and I can twist the bottom of this camera, kind of focus. If I get over there running around, well, half the time you're going to be looking at the refrigerator. And I bet you more people would worry about that than the people worried about that I'm sitting or standing. Because y'all wouldn't like to just look at the doorway of the refrigerator and then they go, oh, I forgot. I forgot to turn the camera. We tried that before. So y'all worry about that. That'll keep you from worrying about something important. Mmm. Worry about coffee. That's something we ought to worry about. Maybe I should do a blog every day and say, if you have absolutely nothing to worry about, let me give you a few top tens. <laughs> Mom, do you have anything we could worry about for nonsense? No. I do. I Did that. Mama get nap today? I don't know, Vicky. No, no nap. No nap today. She's no. rallying night and day. No landing. No laying down for Mama. What you do to it, Mama? She's got errands today. Washing, laundry. Laundry. Working with the, the boys on the porch. Yeah. You have fun? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy your day. That's the important thing. Yeah. I always enjoy my day. Enjoy them. Talk about that a little bit, Mama. Now. Now you're talking about that grief. Anytime I can get up in the morning and walk around, I enjoy them. Me too. Me too, Mom. I've had a great day today. Let's tempt this chicken. That piece right there, the same thing's going to cook. And it's on the same heat. Is it on the front of this? He's on there, but I'm going to move this one right over here. Because they're about the same. I'm turning him up a max. You're going to cook, little boy. It is thicker than the other two. Yeah, I, hammered, I tried to hammer them down to the same, but that little piece there, he's thick. He is thick. I'm going to put that thinner piece over there. Put the thicker directly over. Now, you can put a lid or something on this, press it down a little bit. Now, I'd say that little piece right there is good and done. Because he's so small, he's probably been done for a minute. Let's just tempt him and see what he do. He's climbing quickly, Mama. What is he? <laughs> he's climbing. What's the evidence? Well, no. Yeah, now he's getting up there. 170. He might not be down. Poultry. We always had poultry. Poultry. I said right in a minute. Uh, 185. 185? Mm-hmm. That's actually 165. But you ain't listening to them, are you? No. Again, putting the stick right over top of the... where the heat is. It is saying above 153. This down here on this side is getting a little warmer. This up to 165 right there, but that piece right there, he's holding steady at 153. Let's come right over here and see what this one is. Y'all looking at my arm. See, I can't do the camera and be cooking. Let's see what that one says. Hundred and seventy five. Mama, these are your temperatures. Hundred and seven hundred and eighty two. This one right here is hundred and eighty two. He's hot. I think he's ready to come up from there. That right there, when we get that little piece right there at 165. <laughs> I like this uh, grate because it don't hold oil. It's not going to soak up. Right down here is a little reservoir for oil, butter, anything you have in there. It'll all flow right down there. Let's see this thick part one more time. Surely he's gonna climb above 154 this time. Well, I swear he said 149. <laughs> How can one little chicken stay that cold on a griddle? Let's see. Now he's up there to 170. But it's not enough. Let's see right there. He gotta give it. Oh, he's climbing now. Finally, <laughs> one seventy-five. He's done now. Yeah, he's done all over now. Seventy-nine, eighty. Woo, we doing good, Mama. <laughs> I think we're ready to eat. Is that the potatoes and all that done? Let me get the potatoes out of the microwave. No, it's not. It's not. 
let me move this griddle over now. Okay, we're setting the table. We'll get a fork. Oh, what was you doing? Testing the potatoes with yeah. We can move all of our spices, extras, because they go over here in the door but me. Here's the two new ones that just came out Monday, I believe. Texas Sweet Taco and Bama Burger. We put a little Bama Burger on our chicken. Can't wait to see how good that tastes. No bread tonight. Somebody going to ask. No bread? No bread. You know, sometimes we have really high-carb meals. And we know they're high-carb. But other times, we cut it down a little. And we try not to turn on them. We try to go low-carb. Potatoes are going to be our carb tonight. Look at them potatoes. Folks, those are easy-peasy potatoes. They are completely tender. Completely tender. I'm gonna leave him on there just another second or two. I'm gonna put him over here to the cool center. I don't want him to burn up. And he's gonna quiet down for us. These were canned green beans, the flat Roma style, right? Well, they're called Italian. Italian cut? Italian beans tonight. But we didn't grow these in no garden. I grow the Roma beans that look like them before. Look at these delicious potatoes. To be honest with you, the potatoes and the, the chicken is what we've been looking forward to. We do love these potatoes. In fact, I think this is the same ones we had last night with the bean fritters, wasn't it, Mama? Yeah, this is just the little, round ones. Little bitty round ones. Yeah, round ones. Get rid of them before they get old. Well, they'll uh, swivel, you know. If you save them, that's my yeah. Use down and we just plant enough of them to have a few. Don't we, Mama? What? We just have plant enough to grab a lot of few. You didn't plant enough to no, put up or. Green bean. Did a little different. We didn't do peanuts tonight. We did a can of green beans. And, um,. Red potatoes. Look here, folks. That's just like downtown. Those fresh garden red potatoes with butter, olive oil, and a little bit of um, pink Himalayan salt, and a little bit of parsley. Green beans cooked on top of the stove. They were um, cooked in the water. We drained the water out of the can. We don't cook in the can water when we buy them from the store. We was drained out, rinsed off, and then we put a fresh water in them and put butter and a little bit of bacon grease on the stove. Yeah. And, and then look at that chicken. That's just lemon pepper chicken, lime pepper on it, a little bit of y'all's ranch, a little bit of y'all's, um, Mama's gonna do some potatoes with sour cream and cheese. A little bit of y'all's uh, Southern Secret. All that goodness. That chicken is done done. See there? Chicken's done done now. Don't overcook it. We've temped it. It was already at temp. I was just letting it make sure. Oh, we're using cutlery tonight, Mama. Oh, yeah. There's just some cheese, and this is the green beans. It's about done for. Let's bless it, and then you can cheese it. Mmm. What do you want to drink, Mama? Oh, I guess I'll get this right once we bless it. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for nourishing our bodies with it, dear Lord. And we ask you to be with us and watch over, leading, guide, and direct us, dear Lord, in the things we should do. And 
the paths that we should take, dear Lord. And we just pray a hedge of protection in front of the children that's going to school this week and always, dear Lord. And Lord, be with each and every prayer request, be with each and every hurt, be with each and every need. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. All right, folks. It is time to taste. Mommy, you want to get your surprise? No, I see. Is it? Cool have you got one anywhere besides in there? Maybe Lou. She's walking right in front of me. She thinks I'm going to go out with her. Well, and she's also had some storms to do with today. Yeah. She don't do well with the storms of rain, even rain, the roar of the rain. Maggie's not for it. She's against every bit of it. Uh, let's see here. Hello, John and Mama. Hi, Gwen. Uh, hey, Sharon. Hey, why me? Hey, Linda. Better that, better than downtown, John. That is right. I should say this is better than downtown, shouldn't I? Your dinner looks fabulous. Well, thank you, Gwen. Oh, hey, my Michelle. How are you? Looks delicious. Hey, Emily. Uh, did you eat lunch after that big breakfast? No. No, Lenore, I didn't eat anything. I didn't even take time. In fact, I wasn't hungry at lunch, and then I got hungry at 3.30 or 4. I thought, it's too late now. You done missed the boat. Lunch train done ran. So uh, I was wishing then I'd eat lunch, but this is lunch. This is both. Taste it up, Mama. Tell me what you think. I may not even need a knife. What if I don't need a knife? What if that chicken's so tender? These potatoes certainly are. Mm-hmm. That's, That's delicious. Those potatoes are so good. I love potatoes so good, just cooked with a little bit of butter and salt. But then I think I had to have mashed potatoes and all that. I could be happy with just a big old, just like this, a big old pot of steamed potatoes. And I love them. Somebody's gonna ask what this is. This little contraption here is a stack cooker from Tupperware. The new Kellogg's got them in red. I don't have a red one. You got one on the way, Mama. I have, well good for you. Mmm. I knew you'd want one for Christmas and I wanted one to show in case they go on sale. We like that blue, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this chicken. First, let's see if it's pork tender. My oldest one was purple. Wasn't it real old? The real old one you had back when before when you was in the Tupperware was a purple looking. This, I didn't even need a knife to cut my chicken. My folks, the fuck's the is one, and it's good and done. Let's taste these spices. Mmm. You like the spices? Mm -hmm. That's good. That is so good. Mmm. I was a little upset earlier about myself because I normally would have marinated this all day long and we would have turned it and all that. And then when I came home, I said, Oh, I forgot to marinate that chicken this morning. Me, Mama could have. I forgot didn't think about chicken. I, you know, I had a day that was not rotating around supper, and I thought, well, I'm just, you know, I just won't marinate it. I don't think you have to marinate it now when you use this blend of spices and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just as good, isn't it? Normally, I would marinate either in uh, ranch dressing or probably Italian dressing with the same seasons I put on it tonight. And just keep marinating over and over. You know, we have the little uh, mix and serve containers you can marinate in. You just turn it every time you get in the fridge or just give it a flip. It makes it tender. But look here, you don't even need a fork. This just cuts with a fork. I mean, you don't even need a knife. It just cuts with a fork. You can't get any tenderer than that. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
mighty foundation with this. That little bit of time on there set that off too, didn't it? Yeah, it's good. All right, folks, we thank you for being here. We're going to head out. We're going to finish this beautiful supper. And um, it's still daylight. You know, it's getting darker earlier every day. The days are getting shorter ever since uh, December 21st. So, I mean, June, June the 21st. 21st. First day of summer, whatever that was, December's fall. It's winter, it gets longer. John, it's been a long day, it's been a long week, but it's already Thursday. You got one more day. I know, but it's just like the weeks go by so quickly. Poof, they're gone. I mean, it was just Monday, now it's Thursday evening. I love Thursday evenings. I think of Thursday evenings. Like many of you think about Friday evenings. It's the beginning of the weekend. Now, how do you figure that? Well, Friday evenings is my weekend. I've always claimed Friday evenings is the best part of the weekend. I enjoy it. Saturday seems like it's, um, it can be fun. We had a fun Saturday last Saturday. We got out and rode. We went antiquing. We went to the Amish country. We got watermelon. Oh, we may have to go back and get another watermelon. That watermelon was so good. It was really good. It was so sweet. Uh, it was the best of we had. Yeah, it really was. For sweetness. For sweetness. Well, it's later in the season than we got the others, too, is one thing. But uh, it seems like Saturdays a lot of time are dedicated to projects. Fix them up, do them up, get it done. Because you have to work, you know. So, it's been a great week. We started a good weekend last week. So, Friday evenings is my favorite part of the weekend. You come home from school, you come home from work, it's time for the weekend, and all day long you're thinking, oh, I can sleep in tomorrow. This is, you know, if you sleep in. I don't sleep in. I do so much better to just keep on the same schedule every day, do the same thing uh, for my morning routine. I like to get up, get a shower, get dressed, and ready to go. If somebody knocks on my door at 6.30 in the morning, I want to be able to open the door, fully closed, ready for the day. I don't want to be shuffling for something to put on or not that we have a lot of company at 6 30. <laughs> no. Sometimes we do if we're working. And I totally didn't expect this morning. I mean, this morning was mama. Mama's a, she's not a, she's up at 8 o'clock. She don't lay in the bed all day, but she ain't up at 5. I was up practically all night, so. When I came out of the shower and went in my bedroom and got my clothes on and came out, it's, we're talking 6.30. That's not usual. Mama says, I got your breakfast ready. And I'm like. So I was thinking in my mind, she's got me some eggs and tomatoes and toast because that's my standard breakfast. And then she said, I've got pork tenderloin. I thought. I have went to bed, slept till Saturday morning shortly, because that's our Saturday morning breakfast. Not every Saturday morning, but if we're going to have a big breakfast, it's going to be on Saturday morning. We ain't got time for that uh, on Sunday morning. We've always been a cereal family on Sunday morning, as long as I can oh, remember. Oh, I fixed you eggs and toast last Sunday morning. Well, I was going to, I was finishing up. When I was a kid, it was cereal every Sunday morning. As we got older, it went to eggs and toast. Eggs and toast, that was about it with her mama. Mm -hmm. We don't do big spreads on Sunday morning because no. we've, uh, mama's cooking lunch on Sunday morning. If she's gonna get up and cook on Sunday morning, it's gonna be lunch. But, you know, that's just what we do. And a lot of people breakfast is their Sunday morning. Ours is Saturday. So this morning I was thinking, wow, mama's got Saturday breakfast. It is Thursday, ain't it? But it was delicious and it got me through. And I didn't get tired with it. I usually, when I eat gravy and biscuits, I, but I didn't eat that much. Didn't overeat. I didn't bother me today either. It was just a good day. Maybe Thursdays is the morning to have pork tenderloin gravy biscuits and eggs. I wouldn't count on it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you think you'll sleep like a baby tonight? I hope so. Actually, you slept like a baby last night. 
You went to bed, went to sleep, fine. woke up, didn't go back to sleep for two hours, went back to bed for a nap, got back up at four o'clock. That was like a baby. I just wasn't crying for my bottle. I bet you had a Sprite though somewhere. I sure did. Have you not opened your Sprite? No, not yet. Do y'all drink while you eat? We have, I don't normally drink a lot while I eat. I'll sip a little bit, especially if it's something real dry. But um, I like to, like this coffee will sit here, but I like to enjoy it after I eat. Sit here and just sip on it, kind of like in the morning. Mm. If you haven't tried y'all's coffee, give it a try. The breakfast blend is mama's favorite. That breakfast blend is definitely my favorite first thing in the morning. My first cup. My first reason for getting out of the bed now is y'all's breakfast blend. But if I'm here in the afternoon or if I make a pot of coffee late in the evening, I want that delicious house blend. I taste those rich beans. They're so good. And you coffee drinkers know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I'll drink breakfast blend all day long. I don't care. But I'm just saying in the evening, I love that house blend. Now, probably y'all are going to pick one or the other. But they sent me both of them. And he says, which one you like best? And I said, I'll let you know in a day or two. It took like me a minute to. <laughs> so I wrote him out. I said, I can't pick. I like both of them. He said, I do too. And he said, we were waiting on you to give us the word because we know if anybody liked coffee, it was John. I said, yeah. I said, they're both different. It's kind of like saying, do you want Sprite or Coca-Cola? Mm, no, I want Coca-Cola with a hamburger or pizza. But I love Sprite with popcorn at night. I love Sprite um, with certain meals, just that rich lemon lime flavor. I love that for certain things. So there's no, you know, way to pick a favorite. It's kind of like your children. You love them all for different reasons. Everybody's got a favorite though, don't they? I'm mama's favorite. It was narrowed down because I'm an only child. It's made easy for me. That's right. But I'm also her least favorite. You know, when you're the favorite because you're the only, then you have to take on all the roles. Sometimes I'm sure I'm her least favorite. <laughs> Did you nod your head yes, Mom? <laughs> Mom, I can see you in the camera. Oh, you can. <laughs> when am I your least favorite? There might be a day or two, who knows. But anyway, what I was saying, if you haven't tried their coffee, go try it. If you want these two new spices that they just came out with, maybe you got them all of them and you love them and you think those have got to be good too. Bama burger, and it tastes great on a Bama chicken. This chicken, it's great on it. Texas street taco. Now, if you're thinking about this one, think about... Um, uh, street corn, you know, that flavor. Think about cabbage with a sprinkle of this in it. Delicious. Think about a taco salad, the hamburger meat. Fry this up with your hamburger meat. That will be delicious. Now, I've not tried it. I mean, I have tried the flavor. You know, of course, I opened it as soon as I got it. Did y'all do that? You tasted it. I opened it. I sprinkled a little sprinkle out on a napkin and stuck it to my tongue because... It's not your typical. Let me give a hip. I've not smelled it. It's not your typical taco seasoning. It's a little something better. You want to taste it, Mama? Mm mm. Not now. I mean, even when you look down in that, I'm gonna have to look at the ingredients and see. Uh, chili powder, chili peppers, spices, salt, garlic. Uh, there's a bunch of others. I can't hardly read all these. Uh, salt, paprika. Dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onions. See, that's what's so good about it. Cilantro flakes, citric acid. Uh, there's some more. Now, I don't see, someone asked me if it had um, cumin in it. We were talking about the other day when they went live with it. Someone DM me and said, does it have show cumin in it? I said, I don't know. I don't have it yet. I don't see any on here. Cumin is one of those flavors, either you like it or you don't. Um, I see no cumin anywhere. Not even on the bottom of the list. 
I think that may be why I like it. I don't mind a little cumin, but I'm one of those that just a touch will do me. It just smells so fresh. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to, we may have to have tacos when we go. I'll get some hamburger meat. We'll have some. Oh, I thought some ground chuck. And hamburger buns. I thought you'd have hamburger. Great minds think alike. And you know what I love? There's nothing I can really, you know, just think of fresh. is a good garden fresh taco salad with some good lettuce, some good crisp. Even even a head of iceberg would be delicious in it. But a little bit of spinach, a little bit of iceberg, some good homegrown tomatoes. Oh, wow. And a little bit of uh, of hamburger meat with some good taco season on it. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of sour cream. That fresh cold salad with that hot meat. Mm, we love that, don't we, Mama? Mm -hmm. Sometimes... I read... I believe I read it just right. If I'm not, if you know, to correct. Uh, use leftover pinto beans with taco flavoring and make your taco would not have meat. A lot of people do that. It's, it's doing a plant-based diet. And they also use that uh, for refried beans. I like refried beans, too. <clears throat> But anyhow, we're gonna give this a whirl on a taco salad. We got, we're gonna give this a whirl on anything we need with taco. And this right here, I've done tried it tonight on chicken. So don't, just call it Bama. I'm just gonna start calling it Bama seasoning. I ain't even gonna call it burger because it can be used on chicken for sure. Bama burger. I think I've seen somebody who used it. They lived near there and they'd swung by and got theirs. Um, they mix it in their burger. That's why I like to do mine too. I bet that will be delicious. When you look inside of this, when you look inside of here, you're gonna see the difference. Let me pour y'all some out right here. I wanna show you the spice. I don't wanna just talk about it, I wanna show you. Now look at that, can y'all see that? Can you see those delicious flakes? All that flavor in there. Those, those are all top quality spices. You're going to be seeing some more of it. All right, Mama. You got anything you want to add? No, I've sat here and eat. I have too. And I've eaten and stopped, and now I'm full. So I don't have to eat the rest of mine. Well, that's not wasted. Oh, we ain't. People, I got plans for that little piece of chicken right there. Or that one. That is the perfect size for what I'm going to do tomorrow night, Lord willing. I love a good leftover grilled chicken sandwich. Not just on a piece, I'm talking about an upscale downtown chicken, grilled chicken sandwich. You can make it fresh, you can use leftover. It's delicious, it's delicious. We uh, used to serve them at the, uh, the restaurant and people loved them, I loved them. It was one of my favorite things they had there. Um, we called it there, uh, or the people who, the, we called it Monterey Grilled Chicken Sandwich. It's got honey mustard. I love that mustard. That's why I said Mama would have to help. Mama will have to make us a round of homemade honey mustard. Uh -huh. Can you wait till we all get here tomorrow, or are you going to try to make it while we're here? I'll try my best to wait. <laughs> I may sleep all day. Tonight. This sandwich. This sandwich is a notch above a sandwich. It's not just a notch above a piece of leftover chicken. This sandwich has got two cheeses on it. It's got onions. It's got tomato chopped up. It's got honey mustard. It's got a grilled bun. Are you hungry for it? <laughs> Lord willing. We're gonna fix it tomorrow night with this leftover chicken. This was a two meal plan. This wasn't just, oh, we got chicken left. I think I'll throw together a sandwich. You had to grill the sandwich part before you did this part. Exactly. <laughs> Mama said, are you gonna fix those sandwiches tonight? And I said, you know what, Mama, we get them three big old bricks. Let's go ahead and fix them for one meal tonight with a grilled chicken just like we would. 
And y'all seen how long it took. So tomorrow night we won't take so much time on grilling the chicken. It's already ready. We'll put this in the microwave, a little bit of water, spritz it up, or we'll put it in the um, easy bake on air fryer. I think that would be better. Spray a little bit of, of oil on it. It'd be so good. Y'all taught me that. Anyway, we're gonna tomorrow night we're gonna do Mama's honey mustard, homemade honey mustard, which can be used on anything. It's delicious for a salad. It's delicious on, it's a dip for chicken. That stuff's just good. It's just, it's just good. You can also take the honey mustard to another level. I just keep going. I'm just like a domino. You can take good fresh bacon, heat it up, stir that hot bacon in the honey mustard, let it good, good and warm. Have you ever had hot honey mustard bacon dressing on a salad and it warm, not cold out of the refrigerator, warm honey mustard dressing with bacon? <laughs> you need that. You had them on here. We had it not long ago. Not with the bacon, have I? I make a grilled chicken pineapple salad with hot honey mustard bacon. So we've got, I've got this, Mama's got that, and we've got a whole piece of chicken. So we can have sandwiches, and we can even put, uh, we can even do it, show you a salad maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I don't normally tell y'all what we're having the next day because we do that sometimes and we don't work around to it. We change everything, or I change everything. But I'm wanting it so bad. I gotta have it tomorrow or soon. It's gonna have to come around soon, Mama. <laughs> uh, you ever want those things like Thanksgiving dinner? You can't have Thanksgiving dinner on the 26th, but you can. But if you're in the, if you're just waiting for a change, they're just going to say, Alice, don't fool with this today. Sometimes families have to change dates, and I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying, if you everything's go, you want to go. <laughs> you don't want to wait a day. Same way with that sandwich. So, Lord willing, y'all tune in tomorrow night, and we'll try that sandwich. And I really am full. Them potatoes and that little bit of chicken. Mm -hmm. Mama, you didn't eat none of yours. I did. I ate. You ate quite a bit. And ate all my green beans. Yeah. And we got plenty of chicken. We got a whole piece. We got a... And ate a whole bunch of potatoes. Them potatoes is just so good. Yes, it's and it is... Because I raised them, so why they're so good. Makes the salad... Oh, you're talking about the hot honey mustard bacon? Oh, that is good. You, you may think... I mean, I know some of y'all out there going, I don't want no hot dressing on a cold salad. Yeah. It's that good, folks. Uh, hey, Shirley, how are you? Uh, uh, Nella's telling somebody how to get a recipe. Uh, no pumpkin pie, though. Oh, for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I love pumpkin pie. You know what? I got a bunch of comments last night. You people are smart. Um, so many of y'all commented and said, I love pinto bean pie, and it does taste exactly like pecan. And somebody said, John, give me the recipe. I don't have the recipe. This was just a little lady at church. But then one of y'all said, they're all over the internet. Go look them up. I'm going to look them up. I want to try that pinto bean pie. Mama, you ate your game? I think, I think there's a recipe in one of them. You think it, maybe I got it from the little lady I used to work with? I don't believe it's that. I believe it's in one of the cookbooks from my house. We'll find it. We'll work on that pinto bean pie because it's so good. I'm telling you, I swear, I did not. Even though she told me, John, I'm making a pinto bean pie for tomorrow's lunch. I said, I'll have to try it. Well, the day came, and my mind is, you know, I can't even control the camera. I'm flipping around here. So, <laughs> but I am... Um, I'm so haphazard when it comes to stuff. So the dinner came, I ate, I went to the dessert, and I thought, oh, that pecan pie looks good. And didn't even think about her pinto That's bean pie. That's my favorite pie in the, th in the fall, especially, is the pecan pie. And um, she saw me eating it down the table, and she said, do you like that pie? I said, I didn't try it. I didn't see it. Where's it at? She said, I saw you eating it. And I said, oh, Miss Marie, I don't think I had any of it. She said, John, honey, I sing you. It's right there. And I said, that's pecan pie. She said, no, honey, you ate pinto bean pie. I said, are you kidding me? No, she wasn't kidding. And it was delicious. And it was just like pecan pie. And a lot of y'all said the same thing. A lot of y'all make them all the time. And one of you said it was your daddy's favorite. And he has to have it quite often. And I thought, 
If they're easy to make, I could probably work up with a compact every now and then. Out of pinto beans. Mom, you're just typing their ear off. I know what I need to hush, don't I? Yes, ma'am. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. God bless you. Oh, maybe I'll call my hair. <laughs> oh, is that something new you're going to start? <laughs> I had it called earlier. Mama, your hair looked good at uh, 5 o'clock this morning. Well, I guess if you don't sleep. Yeah, you look good. You said, I think you might have brushed that hair right there. That's what you said. I have to forget. No, yeah. you said I've not brushed my hair. You said, yeah, I believe you did that hair right there. I said that one right there. I think it's brushed. <laughs> when people say to me, John, did you get a haircut? And I said, gosh, I thought they cut them all. And they just look at me like, you're crazy. But, you know, we why don't we call it hair's cut? That's something for y'all to ponder tonight when you can't sleep, maybe. Why do you call it a haircut, but we say we have hairs on our head? And people will talk about singular. I got my hair cut like it's one hair. You ever thought about that? Would it not make more sense to say, I have my hairs dyed. I have my hairs cut. I brushed my hairs. No. That don't sound right. I didn't say it sounded right. I said, is it right? No, it's not right. And I combed or brushed more than one hair this morning. Like you picked that and see. It looked good this morning, Mama. Yeah. It looks good now. Yeah. I was out in the wind and you had little the wind drizzle. Blown look. Huh? You had the wind blown look. Yeah, I had my hat and my car window down. All right, folks. We've said goodbye once or twice, so we're going to say it one more time. Y'all have a blessed night. Lord will, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll try to get sandwiches. Say goodnight, Mama. Goodnight, Mama. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh.